Uh, unit 114 task 1, so that's the first task to do with portable power tools, and this one is about uh, power drills and electric planers. So uh, the first, you, you know, you've got two, two things to do on, on that one. You've got a button, a simple button, where you're going to have to drill uh, equally at some distance, you know, the 100 mil distance and it, uh, on both sides, and then this one will be centered, so it's equal. Uh, nice drill there so that's quite simple and then you've got another piece here to do see you can see the button here which you will fix after to to this part so this part is the one that you're gonna do with the planer uh, to start with so you can see that the measurement of the width is 68 finish so the piece of wood that I will give you give you will be 70 million width and you are gonna use the electric planer to remove it to 68. You will use the electric planer to do the rebate and the electric plane to do the chamfer. So you can see, I'll show you the tooling. We've got uh, an electric plane here with uh, the guide here to make sure for the rebate. Also some, uh, some blades because you're gonna need to change the blades. You will make sure that uh, all the uh, pad testing is there, everything is correct, that the lead is safe to use, etc. You will need a battery driver, you will need a marking gauge, squares, combination or try, I don't mind, a ruler, uh, a bradle, pencil to edge, you will need a auger bit, you will need a flat bit, a countersink and a drill bit. So once you've got all of your uh, tooling ready, you can start looking at the assessment. So the first thing to do, like I said, is to plane your piece of wood from 70 to 68 on one side. Once that's done, you will do the rebate. And when that's done, you will do the chamfer. So three different tasks to, to do using the electric plane. Not difficult, take your time. As long as you do a good marking out again, mark it well before you start, uh, it should be no, no problem. Next, when, once you've done all of the, the, the three tasks with the plane, you can see you've got to use the auger bit, blind all, so the auger, uh, and that's why I've put a tape here so you can see where or when to stop, so as you pierce it, you can stop, you don't have to go through. And then you use the flat bit to do the two through holes. Now those two will be obviously marked out on the other side because they are going through, so you need to pierce that way and then pierce you know, from both sides as well. Do make sure that you are absolutely centered. You can see that the pointed line showing you that you are centered and also that they are 100 mil to each other. As this is 500, everything is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 100 mil. And uh, once you've done this piece, including uh, your uh, blind and through holes, just put your button, countersink it as well, nice and flush, making sure that it comes out 50 mil on both sides. It's long enough to do 50 mil on both sides, nice and flush with the back and the assessment is finished, and that's it. Thank you.